In this race, eight competitors will race down the Marble Works Tower. The goal to become victorious is to avoid finishing in last place. As the gate is released, the marbles are doing whatever they can to pass in front of one another. Oceanagan beats Green Venom in the second funnel and is currently in the lead. There's a close three-way battle in the maze, and remarkably Swamp beats the others to the spinning wheel. The race intensifies as the track splits in two. Oceanagan and Green Venom make it to the first funnel, and it looks like Green Venom takes first place. But remember, the marble in last place is the one that is eliminated. And after a close clash, Black Shadow is the first marble eliminated from this competition. Seven marbles remain in the frenzy. Python barely beats Green Venom in the first funnel. Near the back, Magma Swirl beats Oceanetic in the first maze. Ooh, back of the front, Python has a head start in the third maze, but Ruby wins the battle. Ruby has a clear lead in this round, but how will the other marbles do? Green Venom and Ocean Edigan are forced to do a 101, and despite the quickness, Ocean Edigan can't pass Green Venom's shoes. Magma Swirl manages to find a way past Python. Clownfish and Swamp are in danger of elimination, and unfortunately, Swamp can't catch up to Clownfish, which will cost him his chance of becoming a champion. The third round is underway. And somehow Ruby passes right through Oceanet again and Magma Swirl! Clownfish moves past Magma Swirl in the first maze. Ruby has a strong lead, but not until Python snatches it right from his face! Clownfish also passes Green Venom, which helps him secure his spot in the next round. Clownfish is really showing that he really wants that first place spot. And he moves up again after Ruby stalls on the track! But once again, positions don't matter as long as it isn't last place. Oceanagan's ready to challenge Magma Swirl, but unfortunately he is the third one eliminated. But there was some amazing hard work from all the marbles. Five marbles remain in the fourth round. Ruby once again gains a head start in the first funnel, but Magma Swirl zooms right past Green Venom and jumps to second. Three marbles bow in the second maze, but Python goes right past Magma Swirl. And Clownfish wins the battle from Green Venom in the second funnel. He's really fighting to stay alive. Ruby must stay concentrated to stay in front of the pack. Magma Swirl zooms through the zigzag and catches up to Ruby, but is not enough to beat him. And Green Venom has arrived at the party a little too late and finishes last. That only leaves four marbles left in the competition. Round 5 is now underway. Ruby once again gets a head start but stalls in front of the first maze. This gives Clownfish and Magma Swirl a chance to avoid elimination. In the second maze, things intensifies. Python wins the one-on-one, -on -one, but Magma Swirl still passes him after another stall. Time cannot be wasted in these final rounds, as one bad move can lead to an elimination. Ruby gets back in the lead in the fourth maze. Many others are right behind him. Python must catch up to avoid elimination, and unfortunately, Python arrives too late and is eliminated from the competition. The suspense builds as only three marbles remain. Magma Swirl and Ruby battle even at the starting line. Ooh, Ruby nearly catches up the clownfish, and Magma Swirl's trailing at last place. Man, Ruby has many opportunities to pass clownfish. Magma Swirl almost regained control in that battle. With a little luck though, Magma Swirl could make it to the finals. Both Ruby and Magma Swirl compete in a one-on-one. Ooh, Magma Swirl didn't have enough speed there, which decreases his chances of surviving. And with all that, he is all but done for. Ruby and Clownfish will fight against each other in the final match. And they are off. Ooh, Ruby loses crucial time from that start. So far, Clownfish is doing a great job at maintaining the lead. And as both marbles race down to the finish, Ruby nearly regains lead in the second maze. Clownfish still manages to block Ruby's winning opportunities, but anything can change in this fast-paced rivalry. And they both race in the opposite ends of the track. Ruby looks to be catching up to Clownfish, and Ruby once again takes the lead. But can Clownfish catch up? No, he can't. And this is a big reward for Ruby, as he was able to regain the lead in the final stretch. Congratulations to our three finalists for their amazing hard work. Thanks to the users for giving me creative names for the marbles. And as always, subscribe for more.